Whenever I buy fabric, my routine is to come home and before I sew the fabric, I usually wash it. Well, the other day, I did not do that. I purchased this fabric from Joanne Fabrics and it's a very nice quilted denim. It's a little thick and the pattern that I was making called for over three yards of fabric. So when I got home with the fabric, I saw how much I had and how thick it was. And I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to put this in the washing machine because of the length mostly. I wasn't too concerned about how thick it was. It was just that I had so much of it. So I decided to sew the garment and then I vlogged about it. And then I came home and I crossed my fingers and I put the garment in the washing machine. Now the care label on the bolt said not to dry the fabric. So I was like, okay, I'll wash it, but I won't dry it, but let's see what happens. So I took the coat out of the washing machine. I am so happy to report that it is just fine. It is just fine. I don't even know if it shrunk. If it did, I can't even tell. It looks pretty much exactly the way it was when I put it in there. You know, it's a little wrinkled and all that. But otherwise, I think the length and everything is just fine. And maybe it's the dryer that would have probably damaged it. I don't know. But I am just so happy that it turned out okay and I just had to share. I am on my way to Joanne Fabrics because I want to pick up some buttons. I don't know if you all remember, but I made a shacket not too long ago. Well, it kind of was a, a while ago. and. I put silver buttons on it, but I want to change the buttons out and make them like a solid color, all black, because I think I will wear the shacket a little bit more if I didn't have those silver buttons on there. So yeah, I'm gonna go and see if I can find me some buttons, and I need 12 of them because there's buttons all down the front, and then there's buttons on the sleeve, and then there's two on the front pockets. sewing on those buttons and it didn't take very long at all I'm about to make a bodysuit I love bodysuits so I want to make this bodysuit McCall 7983 and I want it to have a ruffle across the front like it does in this vintage pattern which is simplicity 6042 I'm going to use the ruffle piece from this pattern and I'm going to put it on this pattern. So what I am going to do is I'm going to alter the front of this pattern. So this is the front piece and it's cut on the fold. So I traced this piece out and this is it here. And then I drew a line right here horizontally and I'm going to cut across this line. So I'll have two pieces and then I'm going to add seam allowance to each piece and then that way I'll be able to put the ruffle in between the two pieces when it gets to that step in the sewing process. I purchased this fabric from Cali Fabrics and I don't know why when I saw it online I felt like it was screaming bodysuit. I have gathered the ruffle and I just pinned it lightly to the bottom of the front of the bodysuit. And then this is the upper portion of the bodysuit. So I'm gonna base this down and then I will take this and flip it over right sides together and 
stitch it and then when it flips up the ruffle will be in between the two pieces and then I can take this whole front and attach it to the back. I just imagine myself wearing this bodysuit with jeans. In my head I think it will be so cute and hopefully I'm right. So I have the neck band applied and then I attach the front to the back at the shoulders and now I'm going to put the right sides together and sew the side seams. I used snap tape in the crotch area and I did make the view with the short sleeves and I'm actually all done with this bodysuit. These corduroy pants are Simplicity 9611. They have front pockets and an invisible zipper on the side. This white top is McCall's 8240. I added a ruffle to the sleeve and paired it with these McCall's sweatpants. I decided to pair the bodysuit with the same Simplicity 9611 pants made in denim. <music> 